Passive safety covers all the design features of a vehicle which help to protect the occupants in the event of an accident. Most passive safety features are concerned with the body, both inside and outside the passenger compartment. Passive safety features are a top priority in the fundamental design of every Volkswagen. You're probably familiar with the so-called safety cage or roll bars fitted to saloon cars intended for rallying or racing. But Volkswagen's passive safety design gives all its cars a safety cage as part of the basic structure. Rigidity is obtained by strengthening selected areas of the bodywork, particularly in the floor, roof, pillars and sills. This rigid passenger safety cell is a fundamental concept in accident protection and its effectiveness is confirmed in a whole range of crash tests at the production plant. Front, rear and side impacts as well as rollover tests using dummies measure the amount of deformation and assess the occupant's likely chances of injury. The resulting data are analyzed any necessary modifications made, and future design criteria established. To protect the passenger cell as far as possible in a collision, and to ensure that the forces acting upon the occupants are kept within tolerable limits, front and rear crumple zones are incorporated to absorb impacts. You can see here how the crumple zone deforms gradually, providing cushioning from the impact for the passengers. This gradual deformation is not a random process. Computers are used extensively in their design and to predict in minute detail precisely what will happen in various kinds of collision. Then the theory is put to the test, again using life-size dummies loaded with electronic measuring equipment. The data, along with high-speed film, are used to evaluate how well the crash energy is absorbed and how much force reaches the rigid passenger safety cell. Together, carefully engineered crumple zones and a strong passenger safety cell are vital design features and an area of engineering in which Volkswagen are one of the world leaders. Since 1979, a standard feature of every Volkswagen has been a laminated windscreen. Laminated glass is actually a sandwich consisting of perspex in the middle with tough layers of glass bonded on both sides. When laminated glass is hit, it may crack, but it won't shatter. This means that the days of having your car filled with pieces of sharp glass, should you be unlucky enough to have a stone thrown up at the windscreen, are gone. One of the dangers in an accident is the possibility of a fire as a result of a ruptured fuel tank. Volkswagen, though, have come up with a solution which all but eliminates such a possibility. The fuel tank fitted to most Volkswagens is made of a strong, flexible plastic, which resists heat and is able to absorb considerable impact without puncturing. There are few that would argue about the use of seat belts to the front seats of a vehicle as a means of reducing injury in an accident. Surprisingly, though, many people still regard the use of seat belts in the rear as unnecessary. Volkswagen have long disagreed, and these scenes show why. Mindful of the severity of injury caused to and by unrestrained rear seat passengers, Volkswagen have fitted rear seat belts in all their cars since 1980. Active safety refers to those features of a vehicle which are incorporated into the design in order to help prevent accidents happening in the first place. Most active safety features are associated with the running gear, aspects of design which aim to keep the vehicle under control in a wide variety of situations. Once again, they're usually hidden from view, and their importance can only be appreciated when you know a little about how they work. One of the unfortunate possibilities that could occur when driving is a front tire blowout. When this happens, the increased pull and lack of grip caused by the deflated tire forces the wheels to turn in that direction, potentially causing a skid. To overcome this, Volkswagen pioneered the design of self-stabilizing steering, which is incorporated in all their cars. With this feature, the suspension geometry is designed to counteract and neutralize the steering pull caused by a blowout. 
keeping the vehicle on a stable course. Best of all, it all takes place in a fraction of a second and requires no thought or intervention from the driver. It's automatic. Hand in glove with self-stabilizing steering is another standard Volkswagen safety feature. Diagonally split dual circuit brakes. Briefly, there are two independent brake circuits, so that if one were to fail, it would still be possible to stop the vehicle. Each circuit serves two wheels, one the front left and rear right wheels, and the other the front right and the rear left, so that there's always one front and one rear wheel being braked on opposite sides of the vehicle to provide a stable braking force. Volkswagen were one of the first manufacturers to incorporate front-wheel drive across a whole generation of cars. Since those first Golfs, Passats, Polos and Siroccos, the majority of other manufacturers have followed suit and produced vehicles fitted with front-wheel drive. This is despite the fact that it's technically more difficult to achieve than rear-wheel drive. The front wheels now have to steer, brake and transmit drive to the road. So what are the advantages? Put simply, a vehicle remains more stable, particularly during cornering, if the drive is pulling it rather than pushing it. Technically speaking, a vehicle with front-wheel drive has natural understeer characteristics, whilst with rear-wheel drive the tendency is to oversteer, and oversteer is much more difficult for the driver to control. Another advantage with front-wheel drive is the fact that, with the engine in the front, a good proportion of the weight is over the driving wheels, which assists traction in adverse weather, such as heavy rain or snow. Under more extreme weather and road conditions, however, it's highly desirable that all four wheels be driven to provide even greater traction. With their synchro system, Volkswagen have achieved four-wheel drive without many of the disadvantages of conventional permanent four-wheel drive systems. With Synchro fitted to a passenger vehicle, the front wheels transmit practically all the power to the road under normal conditions. If, for any reason, the front wheels should begin to skid, some or all of the power is automatically transferred to the rear wheels. In effect, Synchro always puts the power to the wheels which can best use it, and can transmit any amount up to 99% of that power to either the front or the rear wheels as necessary. Unlike most other four-wheel drive systems, Synchro is fully automatic and therefore requires no input from the driver.